monthly readings don't mind that lawnmower in the background I'm hoping you can barely hear it um so let's talk about my patreon that I have now because I am going to be um putting out the 2021 yearly predictions over there they should all be out by next uh month uh but I'm also adding a lot of bonus content so if you are subscribed to my vimeo you might want to switch over there just because for the same price, basically, you're going to be getting so much more. Um, and I'm going to be doing some live streams every month. I'm uploading like weekly horoscopes as well, uh, weekly written horoscopes, as well as just like, you know, extra bonus content from me. And we can communicate a little bit more intimately over there because I do try and like avoid reading too many of the comments here on YouTube because I get some that are just like awful um and, and to protect my own energy you know always like follow me on instagram i am more kind of open and communicative over there so just want to let people know that because it's not that i'm trying to you know ignore the community and ignore my following but sometimes it's like i there's some comments on here that i'm like i cannot look at this um but I do see a lot of your like really nice comments. So don't think I don't see them, but like there are some like nasty comments that get in here. Um, so let's take a look at what's going on for you. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was the la la la, la 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 Y2K and B B N O dollar sign. I don't know. Bonos. Um, I don't know how you say that. Um, but it's kind of like, it was like on TikTok. I just like the beat of the song. It's like when I popped up, da na 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 um, But I feel like it's a very like, uh, there's one line that stood out to me while I was shuffling. It's like married to the grind. So I feel like right now you're like really in love with the grind. Whatever you're doing, I feel like you're like really just hustling. And you're kind of, this is like firing you up or getting you going. So it's like the end of the year, you're like, I'm gonna end this year off with a bang. So let's see, let's pull some Oracle cards here for Scorpio. Um, do something different. Shine your light. Reflect on your truth. So I feel like at this time, like this is some advice I'll give you because I feel like I'm. this is coming through for me, especially for my like people working in the independent space or working like online business, online social media, things like that. I feel like there's something you need to really kind of harness what your truth is, what your message is behind like what your truth is and really take a unique approach to something. There's something that you're being asked to approach from a unique perspective. Um, Cause it's like one of those things like, you know, you can easily be like, well, everybody's doing this now. Like, why would I jump into this? But it's like adding your own unique twist to it based on your truth and who you are as an individual because people are gonna resonate differently with everyone. And like, you will find your tribe based on shining your own, um, shining your own light, your own specific hue or shade or truth, you know? So let's pull some Moonology cards here. This could be kind of what you're going through. It's like you finally found your little niche and you are just catapulting right now. So meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. You could be meditating on this right now, being like, what is my little niche? What angle do I wanna approach this on? And I feel like you're really close to having that kind of breakthrough. And when you do, you're gonna be like fired up. Emotions are running high, super moon. That's that like fired up energy I'm feeling. Um, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So yeah, in order to do this, it's like you have to let your guard down a little bit mm, to kind of be willing to let people see you. you know what I'm saying? All right, bottom of the deck, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So you are moving forward. Fortune is in your favor. Um, luck is on your side. 
this is like something's moving forward here you're being guided you're being pushed forward i think this is a great card to start off the reading because it's just saying like luck is on your side um the, the universal energies are supporting you and moving you forward there could be some kind of faded event that's getting ready to happen for you um that's just going to be I'm getting like this really like momentous energy and it's almost like this faded event comes in and it's just something that's going to like catapult you or shoot you into whatever it is you're hoping to achieve. So let's see overall energy here for my Scorpios. We've got the world card. So sometimes this for me is, you know, it's about endings and new beginnings, endings of cycles, new beginnings. But I also see her as somebody who is like vulnerable She's laying out there naked for everyone to see um, and, and kind of open, like open to what the universe has in store for me. So it's not even just vulnerability to others, it's vulnerability to the process, like to trusting in the divine plan. And with that wheel of fortune down there at the bottom of the deck, we know that the divine energy is like the universal energy is they got your back they are supporting you right now so it's almost like you just have to like um you know just open that heart chakra let that light shine because then it's going to attract the right things into your sphere that light it's like a lighthouse you know but you have to kind of open up and be like here i am come and find me um let's see give me a Give me a clarifier. Oh, gosh. Eight of swords and the seven of wands. So I feel like you're needing, like what you need to get past right now is this um, indecision. <clears throat> this stuck energy, it's like you're trudging through the mud right now. You just have to keep going forward, even if you're doing one little thing a day. Um, cause I feel like you might feel very stuck. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm moving forward. Like keep doing one little thing every day or, you know, one little thing for your mental health, one little thing to just advance you a little bit. Even if it's just a tiny bit, like you're going to break out of that mud and you're going to be running, but it's like right now you're kind of trudging through the mud, but you're almost out of the mud. Two of cups. So this could be in regards to, you know, love and relationship as well so it could be that you're in a new connection that you're kind of in the beginning stages of right or you could be out trying to meet somebody and you're like oh you know last night wasn't successful didn't meet anybody but it's that trudging through the mud like keep putting yourself out there in different ways um we've got the seven of pentacles and we've got the nine of wands so this is about the moving forward even though like your legs are tired because you've been, um, I love that I've just stuck to this metaphor now. Your legs are tired and they're sore from having to like really trudge through that mud, but you're almost out of it. You're almost out of it. Um, let's see, what is this two of cups doing here? Some of you I'm hearing this is like a marriage, but a marriage of, um, like some of you could be getting ready to get married and maybe it's like, uh, and because this is generating like different messages, is are gonna come towards me? Oh, haha. <laughs> I'll show this card after I say this because this is a message for somebody. If you've been going through a lot of like wedding things, like where you've been like, oh my God, nothing's working out or everything's, it's all gonna come together. Um, <sighs> look at this, look at this little friend here, the devil um the devil capricorn energy um so that's the mud there's the mud huh there is the mud so if this is in regards to a relationship there's been like a needing of clearing karma and there's been a needing of being really patient but you're about to be in a much smoother area in regards to this connection or in, to, in regards to getting over this kind of hump of maybe you felt bound to um, a past look at this it's time to release negativity it might have been like especially if you've been in a new connection or you've been looking for that connection you might have had to sort through a lot of devil energy you know you might have had to sort through a lot 
of this kind of your own toxic behaviors, your own um, codependent tendencies, your own like uh, addictive thoughts, things like that. So it's it's like you're you're almost there. You just got to keep going. You've got just got to be patient with yourself and keep like going back to the drawing board and working with yourself. You know, it's exhausting. I know, but like it's like reflecting on your truth and then deciding to kind of like how I said in the beginning is to just really allow yourself to be open to the the love or the partnership that you're looking for. Uh, Nine of Wands here, the Wheel of Fortune, there it is. Faded event, there's a faded event happening here that's going to help you move forward. It's going to get you out of the mud, okay? Um, and I'm gonna, we'll see, oh, lover's card. So you could be meeting somebody new very soon. Sun, Leo energy, we've got Gemini on the table. Page of Wands, this could be um, somebody coming in, somebody new. Or somebody communicating with you. For some of you, this is a new person. This is a totally new person. And it's like, oh, finally. Like, I just feel this feeling of like, finally, this is working out. But for some of you, like, this is somebody that you're with that you've been like, Oh, you've been going through this, like, trying to figure it out, trying to figure each other out, trying to get past that kind of, like, there's the honeymoon phase, and then there's that phase where you're like, are we going to make it? Are we going to get over these challenges? Like, we're out of the honeymoon phase, now we're starting to, like, see what really irritates about each other. Like, are we going to get past this phase? And uh, for some of you, yes. But you got to keep moving forward, and you got to keep kind of doing your own personal work and healing throughout the situation, you know? But for some of you, this is a new person and it will be kind of that fated event of you meeting this person. Lover's card, the spirits, the angels, the whatever you want to call them, the universe is working on getting y'all together, <laughs> manifesting this connection with the magician here. This is being manifested manifested sun card what is this page of wands doing here page of wands tell me ten of cups wow it's gonna go from like zero to a hundred this connection it's like you communicate with this person you're in love with this person um <laughs> You get a message from this person, you they're your soulmate. It, like, it's just one of those things that it's like those when you know, you know. When you know, you know. Um, and, and there's going to be a lot of synchronicities around it. Or, you know, when you know, you know. Not using the term soulmate. It, it could be just like, this is the person that I will so settle down with. Because uh, I'm hearing a marriage, like I heard in the beginning of this reading, like uh, I'm hearing this is about a marriage. This is about a marriage. So I think that for some of you, like this is somebody that you will be married to. This is about a marriage. And this is a coming together. There's the page of pentacles, the queen of swords, and the three of wands. I think this is something that you've been waiting for. Um, this person could be from, um, this person could be from overseas or from somewhere from a distance, which is why they're kind of this newer energy. Um, and, and maybe it's like you meet this person online and you guys communicate for a while. So that's why I'm seeing this page of wands to the 10 of cups. Like it's kind of like, um, why I see it moving so fast because it's kind of this energy of, um, you know, it kind of has to move fast. Let's see, Page of Pentacles here. What's the Page of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles, wow. So that's that commitment, that's that opportunity. For some of you, you're getting love and career here. It's like double whammy. Uh, and it could be that this person in some capacity helps you with your career uh, or you end up working together. That might be why I'm feeling this kind of... Um, this kind of energy you could meet this person through your career 
but also I'm feeling this strong energy of like, like this is about you finding your niche or your voice or your truth because that's what's going to shine the light in order for this to, person to find you. Mm, three of Wands. Because like, even like looking at this Three of Wands, it's like this person waiting for their ships to come in, right? But this person could be waiting for that signal. Like this person could be waiting for that signal, like that lighthouse signal um, to let them know like there's life out there. <laughs> two of Wands, yeah. Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. This is about like getting ready to take action, but this person's waiting to see, is there something to take action towards? Is there something to take action towards? Send me a signal, SOS, SOS. Um, but I feel like this is coming in. This is coming in for you, and I feel like it's all happening very synchronistically. There's a lot of events taking place here. Let me pull a card for this Wheel of Fortune, because I want to see what is this event. Okay. Um, Queen of Pentacles. I think this has to do with something to do with work um, or something that you do for like your finances or uh, uh, monetarily. Um, it could be your mind. And it's interesting that I say that because something that stood out to me when I was looking at this lover's card is like the snake. Obviously, we know the story of Adam and Eve. The snake is chatting with Eve. Like the snake is in Eve's ear, but it's all about mental it's all about intelligence it's all about um consciousness so there's something here about your mind about your mind tapping into something with your mind and and i feel like that's why i'm talking about like your truth i feel like that's why it has something to do with your work or something that you're getting ready to do or getting ready to speak on it's like comes to you through the mind first and foremost so it's almost like you have this aha moment about this event that's coming into your life it's like a moment of clarity a moment of truth and then you um shine that light you send out that signal you get really clear and it could be that it's like this is the type of person that i need or it's like you're going to get one step closer to what needs to happen in order to make everything happen. You know, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So in the extended, I will look more into what this is, what the situation is. We're going to pull some archetype cards to hone in on the energy. We'll pull some heart to heart messages. I'm going to pull two right now. Some tarot to see what messages we get here about this. Um, some advice cards as well as the sexual tarot so let's tap into all of it all right give me two heart to heart messages please be patient with me i need more time um i dream about you so it could be that you're like starting to find clues about this person i'm really sorry for that lawnmower um find clues about this person and in your dreams um so it's really interesting with that lawnmower it's almost like you need to tune out the outside noise and really like you're getting clues you're getting divine guidance towards what it is that you want so it's just about you tuning it out all right um let's move into the extended here where i'm going to hone in on this energy um if you guys are interested, I highly recommend checking out my Patreon. Um, but if not, I will see you over there. Bye.